क्यान्सर टच मी अबुई म त मैले त कहिले लाइफ लाई त्यति महत्वै दिएको थिएन मैले त कति आफ्नो हेल्थ ल महत्वै दिएको थिएन मैले त कति आफ्नो फ्यामिलीलाई महत्वै दिएको थिएन मैले आफ्नो करियरलाई महत्व दिएको थिएन किनभने करियरलाई पनि मैले टेक इन फर ग्रान्टेडै लिएको थिएँ एकताका त्यो धेरै हुँदा हुँदा हुँदै जहिले पनि करियर आउन सक्छ मेरो आमा बुबा त जहिले पनि हुनुहुन्छ मसँग या हेल्थ त ठिक भइहाल्छ नि सो बेसिकली हामीसँग जे कुरा हुन्छ हामीलाई त्यसलाई हामी महत्वै दिँदैनौँ जब त्यो ती कुराहरू हामीसँग छुट्न थाल्छ तब अब यो पनि छुट्यो त्यो पनि छुट्यो भनेर वी स्टार्ट क्राइङ अबाउट वट यू लस्ट बट एज लङ एज वी ह्याड इट वी डोन्ट भ्याल्यू इट सो द्याट वी निड टू किप एन आई अर एन अलर्ट माइन्ड द्याट इफ वी आर बर्न टू डे वी हेभ दिस ब्युटिफुल ह्युमंगस लाइफ फुल अफ अपर्चुनिटिज यु गाइज आर यंग यु नो यू हेभ सच अ ब्युटिफुल फ्युचर हेड अफ यू यू हेभ सच अ प्रेजेन्ट डे सो मेनी च्यालेन्जेस वी थिङ्स टू ओभरकम म त च्यालेन्जेस भन्दा पनि भन्दैन म त त्यसलाई चाहिँ नि एउटा एउटा टेस्ट जस्तै हेर्छु कि यसले मलाई कतिको बलियो बनाउँछ भनेर यु नो एन्ड द मोमेन्ट यू क्रस द्याट यू ह्याभ मोर कन्फिडेन्स सो आई फिल लेट्स भ्याल्यु वट वी ह्याभ टू डे You know, I started looking at the sunrise. I started looking at the grass. I started looking at the trees. I started looking at, um, you know, the birds flying on the sky, the rain, all that. And I was so mesmerized and so I started falling in love with life during my cancer treatment. When I thought life was slipping away, right? And during my cancer treatment, I realized my health was so important. मैले चाहिँ एउटा अनहेल्दी लाइफ लिड गरिरहेको थिएँ मैले भने बाप रे बाप यो यो हेल्थलाई राम्रो गर्नलाई कति पैसा खर्च गर्नु पर्दो रहेछ कति भएबाट हिँड्नु पर्दो रहेछ तर मैले यसैलाई राम्रोसँग सम्हालेर हिँडेको भए भनेर त्यो पनि दिमागमा आयो सो आई थिङ्क वी निड टू रियली फोकस अन अ हेल्थ बिकज इफ वी डोन्ट हेभ गुड हेल्थ अनेस्टली वी कैनट इन्जोय दिस लाइफ वी रियली कैन नट एप्रिसिएट एन्ड रिस्पेक्ट and have a great quality of life if you are not healthy so please stay focus on remaining healthy and kete kete dekhi nai bani ramro hunu paryo ke euta kete kete dekhi nai if you build your character towards hard work towards healthy lifestyle towards appreciating be in a state of gratitude with what you have rather than focusing on what you don't have if you have loving and supporting family be appreciative be grateful for that if you have great friend be grateful for that don't take friends for granted don't take what comes in your life for granted so so many thing you have quality unsa hamle appreciate garne hami chani dhere complain pani dhere garchu we complain a lot it comes very easy to us we also make lot of excuses why we didn't do this and why we didn't do that that habit i feel we need to slowly eradicate hai right, na no? uh, once you take a responsibility of doing something you make sure hai na maile bhaneko chu eslai garchu bhane pachi ma garchu 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 in the sense finishing your homework finishing your sub, you know if you want to help a friend value your own word value yourself value the people around you people who care for you your teachers your family members your friends you know so i feel all that and do understand that in life you will have lot of problems it's okay you know uh, uh, a nurse told me one thing when i was mala asatti to ki bole ni asatti dukhi ra thyo asatti pida bhai ra thyo and i was crying so the nurse told me something and i will never forget that I'll always remember that. She said, I know, she ulai jin malai dekhe ra, she felt pity on me. And she said, I know it's it's painful. I know what you're going through is very tough. But you are tougher than that. Te bhane pachi ma jhasanga bhai ke a I am actually tougher than the pain that I'm going through. Or this kind of a problem I'm going through. Bhane pachi uta some kind of a hope some kind of a confidence some kind of law i am going through with it and i will come out of it whenever you i okay so i feel that 
outlook towards life okay you are facing this challenge but you are bigger you are tougher you are more wiser than that challenge and once you overcome that challenge you'll have more confidence in yourself so take each challenge as a test and build your character build your personality it's very important as a responsible citizen of any society um one should be able to reach out one should be able to help and one should be able to but the, these are things these are all your personal choices if you really feel like helping you go ahead and help you don't go and help because you want to look good you don't go and help because of wrong reasons right because i i believe in being authentic i believe no matter how i respect that person who will honestly tell me mala ta feel hundaina ma gardina bhanera tara yo dekhawa ko lai chai ni na garnu but if you really feel it i would encourage you to get out of your comfort zone and support somebody and then you will realize how good you feel about yourself and about life because as human being we are meant to be supporting each other but that's my understanding because i've also lived through a phase many phases in life there was a time when i was least bothered about it and nobody also taught me or i obviously saw my family members and i obviously saw all that but i feel so many people you know uh, today they do more for a show more to look good then then to actually feel and i would encourage you all to feel i would encourage you all to be authentic i want you to be honest because this is your life and you need to stand tall in your truth whatever your truth is most welcome don't buy other people's uh, facades don't buy other people's thing on you ki kasaile bhanera nai timle garne haina तिमें आपू ले फील कर अने हो राइट तर सही कुरा को मैं इनकरेज कर अल्टिमेटली हम ट्रुथ के होने हमीर वी आर इंटर डिपेन्डेन्ट क्रिएचर्स इफ यू एक्चुअली लुक एट दिस फ्रॉम दिस आई फॉर यू गाइज टू भी हाउ मेनी पीपल हेव हेल्प यू यू नो योर फैमिली मेम्बर्स योर टीचर्स य so many people are actually helping you to be here today so that tomorrow you can have a better and along the way if you keep a open eye you will see how many people have helped you to be who you are so it's always better to give back give back to people who need your help because you've got lot of help you know the value of help so you should also give back you know in in again more than in jaili dhere kura i always reference back to because lot of my uh, learning in was during cancer treatment so it's always better to give back give back to people who need your help because you've got lot of help you know the value of help so you should also give back you know in in again more than in jaili dhere kura i always reference back to because lot of my uh, learning in was during cancer um maile chai ya dherai barsha ghadi i did a mega bull ani mega bull ka at pachi chai ne ra nepali cinema feri bhetola sab samman ghar ma kasai le mala prashna chai ne gareko thiyo haina ani tara tes pachi chai ne mala bombay film industry lai explore garda kheri chai ne i faced little difficulty while choosing uh, that profession because nobody from my family or anybody they had known had actually entered that industry and we had no clue cost to show one era um as per as i remember my le chai ni mero hajur ama lai convince gare pachi chai ni because she was heading the family nobody could say no to her and so i went and explored my career in film industry and uh, it has worked for me and i fell in love with my profession i am still in love with my profession having said that coming from a political family 
मलाई चाहिँ नि पोलिटिक्समा जहिले पनि वर्ल्ड पोलिटिक्समा के भइरहेको छ भन्ने चाहु हुन्छ बिकज आई रिड अल द न्यूज व्हाट्स ह्यापनिङ बिकज अल्टिमेटली वी गेट इम्प्याक्टेड व्हाट्स ह्यापनिङ इन द वर्ल्ड चाहिँ नि वी डेफिनेटली गेट इम्प्याक्टेड इन इन आ इन आ कन्ट्री अल्सो इन सम वेज त्यसैले पनि र अर्को त्यो इन्भाइरोमेन्ट केटाकेटीदेखि हुर्केको पोलिटिकल गफेर सुने सुनेर आइरहेको हुर्किँदाखेरि पनि एउटा चा यु नो इन्ट्रेस्ट हुँदो रहेछ सो नेपाली पोलिटिक्समा पनि मलाई असाधै इन्ट्रेस्ट छ नि आउट अफ क्युरोसिटी आउट अफ कन्सर्न आउट अफ लभ फर द नेसन आई हेव अलवेज बिन इन्ट्रेस्टेड एज फार एज बिइंग पार्ट अफ बिइंग पोलिटिकल सिस्टम इन टुडेज इन्भाइरोमेन्ट आई डोन्ट थिङ्क आई एम रियली ह्युजली मोटिभेटेड अल्सो बिकज अफ माई एज अल्सो बिकज अफ माई मेडिकल कन्डिसन दैट आई हेभ बिन यु नो सो त्यो चाहिँ मलाई लाग्दैन र मे बी एक ताका मलाई अलिअलि प्रेसर चाहिँ नि आउँथ्यो होला एक ताका पिपल वर एक्सपेक्टिङ मनिषा फ्रम कोइराला फ्यामिली विल कम एन्ड अल द्याट एन्ड यु नो डु भनेर मैले अहिले चाहिँ नि कसैले प्रेसर गर्दैन आई डोन्ट थिङ्क आई गेट प्रेसराइज आई डोन्ट टेक प्रेसर फर्स्ट अफ अल एन्ड बट एक्सपेक्टेसन चाहिँ नि हुन्छ मान्छेहरूमा कि कसैले गर्दै भए हुन्थ्यो भनेर चाहिँ नि म आई आई क्यान अन्डरस्ट्यान्ड द्याट बट इन वर्ल्ड ओभर नाउ वुमेन आर राइजिङ अप एन्ड दे आर वोइजिङ एन्ड दे आर स्पिकिङ दे ट्रुथ एन्ड डिमान्डिङ इक्वल राइट्स whether it's equal pay or equal respect or equal standing and uh, it's so important you know i feel uh, when the population of half of the population is you know a man or a woman and it there has to be equality and so many things in in the you know in life e- either we progress either we evolve or we dissolve हामी पछि नै जान्छौँ यहाँ हामी राम्रो काम गरेर अगाडि बढ्ने र राम्रो काम गरेर अगाडि बढ्नुमा चाहिँ नि वान अफ द मेन मेन थिङ आई फिल इज इक्वल रिस्पेक्ट एन्ड इक्वल स्पेस फर एभ्री वान एन्ड द्याट आई थिङ्क इफ द सोसाइटी डज नट गिव यू सुड गो इन ग्राब इट बिकज आई बिलिव द्याट यु नि टु फाइट फर युअर राइट यु नि टु स्पिक युअर ट्रुथ you should not be submissive and all especially you know i feel women uh, or any any uh, people in the society nobody is less nobody is big nobody is more important than anybody we all are equally important beings and we all have this blessed life we just need to understand that and we need to really uh, appreciate that euta ta tyo kura bhayo arko kura chai ni जस्तो कि वुमेन निड टू सपोर्ट इच अदर सोलिडारिटी अमंग वुमेन डेफिनेटली बिकज मेरे हजार आमा भूनते हैं कहीं कहीं मैं ये ये सत्य भी हो कता कता देखु कि फैमिली में आई फील समटाइम्स ओनली वुमेन आर पुलिंग दी अदर वुमेन डाउन मोर देन अ मैन पुलिंग वुमेन डाउन आई सो मेनी टाइम्स आई सी अ वुमेन इवन इन अ प्रोफेसन आउट अफ जेलसी आउट अफ कम्पिटिशन आउट अफ वट एव इनसिक्योरिटीज वी टेन टू पुल इच अदर डाउन and i think that is such a backward thinking because honestly if you help the other the other helps the other we all collectively become stronger you know and kasai lai kasai ko gora tanera hami mathi to uthne haina ni that such a uh, narrow way of looking at life okay but if you help somebody to rise you know you first of all you will feel good and you have more energy I always I always feel a stronger person will always help you out a weak person will always pull you down you know so in tyo chai ni ma ke bhanchu bhane i may early of course they need to have solidarity of course they need to support and understand the kind of struggle one is going through and be empathetic and really help each other out number one number two i feel even the boys they need to understand the struggle that women go through we women go through and so they should also rise above and support i feel equal hands of support for men and women for the whoever is needed is is required jo chai ni hamle kasai lai madad garera kasai lai support garera kasai ko tareef garera kasai ko atma bal badhaera hami sanu hundaino 
In fact, the more you give, the more you get. This is this applies. This is the truth of life. It's it's something like, you know, uh, you encourage somebody because you are strong, because you are wise, because you have so much of love. You encourage the weak person. You make the weak person strong. You know, because you have strength inside you. So I really feel that uh, we should not be a backward thinking people. Ki kosa ko gora thane wani hami ramro unzo kosa le na ramro dekha ra hami ramro dekhin so that's such a old school. I'm older, but, <laughs> but I don't belong to that kind of thinking. I never did. Right? Um, so I feel uh, firstly solidarity among women, and also I would request all the boys, all the men, also to support women. Or anybody who needs the support, the kind of environment uh, earlier today, I feel uh, the younger generation is a lot more bold. The younger generation, whether it's man or a woman, they are much more aware about rights. Uh, they speak. They live. Uh, you know. But those days, there was, of course, there was a double standard, and I had to navigate my way. And so many times, I have rebelled against those double standards. And um, so it's it's like uh, you know, you have to. As I've been a kind of a fighter in in some ways, <laughs> and, and I rebel whenever I see an injustice. And uh, uh, I have never kind of. But one has to navigate. A peaceful manner to speak your truth, to uh, ask for equality, to uh, demand the respect. Um, yeah, but today the times have changed. I have to say, today, uh, whether it's a boy or a woman in the film industry, they they are very well aware about their rights, about uh, their own uh, self importance. So it's different environment than those days. Um, Yes, I really um, did in my TED talk did say that life is what happens when you're busy making plans, and that's what really happened with me. And in, you know, the thing is, um, uh, I wasn't prepared to uh, be diagnosed with cancer. That too was the last stage, you know. So I was completely shell shocked. I was more thinking of I'll be directing a film or I'll be acting and I'll I'll travel the world and blah 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 blah. But then this happened. All my dreams and plans and everything stopped, and I had to deal with it as uh, it it required, it demanded out of me. So, having said this, I I, I am I want to tell you, uh, just because life is so unpredict uh, unpredictable, doesn't mean that you don't make plans. You make plans with open mind that things can change. And I should adapt to the change. Do not be stuck and stubborn. Okay, you whenever you stay universal, whenever no, you need to be flexible in life. And this is what I was taught. Uh, I don't. I do make plans, but I don't make long-term plans. I want to do the right step. I want to do the baby steps correctly so that I reach to a certain goal. I finish that goal, and then I move, take few baby steps. So I do make plans. It's not as if I've completely eradicated making plans, but I'm also open to some accidental events or some new events which my mind has not fathomed and can happen to me, and or maybe a better option can come my life. You know, I'm open to all that. Now, facing your last bit was facing some challenges in life. Uh, this is life, guys. We all have to know by now that you know it's not made of bed of roses. There are thorns all along the way. You know there are flowers, but there are also there are roses, but there are also there are thorns. And and how do we overcome the thorns? There are a couple of ways. Um, I think first of all to accept that life is not uh, going to be a smooth, easy. That struggle is hundai na wana. That you so soon ain't bekaro, because kapal ko exam ay le ko life mapa nai. Kati na soche ko kurai ro bai raun sam. Kati just so parda parde exam ma arke question ay din sa. Kaset tela deal karne hunsa. 
or you might be in love with somebody then that guy doesn't love or the girl doesn't love and you know you all are in that age so so many things that you will face but i feel if you have a certain outlook in life which is a you need to be slightly flexible b you need to be appreciating what you have you know uh, first of all the fact that we are alive today 